How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl Wi-Fi battle. Today we have a new team, it's a Kingler team. If you want to battle me, join the Discord server in the description and please like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Let me know who you think will win based on the teams you see on the screen right now. And with that being said, let's jump into the game. And the battle begins. King Dean, who is my opponent from the Discord server, is going to lead off with the Espeon as we led off with um, Steelix. And I led with Steelix because, A, I figured they would probably lead with Espeon to stop our Stealth Rocks. And also because I want to get Stealth Rocks up, so I need to get rid of this Espeon. So, with that in mind, let's go for an Earthquake and try and get some damage off on this Espeon because that is exactly what we need to do, really. They are going to go for a Grass Knot. That's going to do not... Wow, that did a lot of damage. Okay, so Earthquake is going to come through. That's going to nearly take out the Espeon, which is fantastic. And um, we do have Custat Berry, which our opponent probably doesn't know. So let's go ahead and go for an Earthquake and get rid of this uh, Steve. This, 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 this is Espeon. <laughs> I can't speak. I can't speak. It's not fair. We go for the EQ and take out the Espeon, though. That's great. So Espeon is out of the way. Um, we have got a Milotic, which can come in now. Or a Lucario. Well, they could finish us off with anything at this point. Um, it's a shame we couldn't keep the Stealth Rocks, uh, the Custom Berry for the Stealth Rocks, but it is what it is at the end of the day. There they go, Porygon Z. That's fine by me. Um, they are adaptability because they didn't get a defense... Um, what, what am I talking about? A defense drop. Um, they didn't get a attack or a special attack raise. Um, I think I'm just going to let Steelix go down. I'm going to try and get the Stealth Rocks up just in case they overpredict to go for a try attack. They do go for a try attack. Can we live? Probably not, it's adaptability. Nope, there we go, see. Metallica goes down, that is a shame, but we got rid of the Espeon with Metallica and that's absolutely fine by me. Um, we have got a ample opportunity to switch in something else here. We don't want to go Kingler because they could easily switch up moves and go Thunderbolt. Um, we could go Electivire. Electivire's wild charge is going to hurt a lot. Um, Eruption would really hurt from Choice Scarf Typhlosion. Let's go um, Electivire. We'll just go Electivire and we'll just go straight for Wild Charge. Just to see what they're going to do. Just to see what they're going to do. So let's go Wild Charge real quick. They do stay in and go for a try attack. Are they choice specs? Wow, wow. We barely lived that. Bad. Barely lived. But we took out the Porygon Z with the, with the Wild Charge anyway. So that's pretty great. Um, unfortunately, we do go down to the recoil. But it's fine. Electabuzz, you did good. Electabuzz, Electivire, you did good. You did good. So... With that in mind, Porygon Z's down. Um, what do we go into here? Let's go Crobat just to be safe. Then we can see what they're going to go into. There we go. Go into Crobat real quick. A nice shiny Crobat. My shiny Crobat looks better than yours. I'm joking. It doesn't really. Well, it does, but it doesn't. Anyway, they go Lucario. That, that, that matches up nicely for us. Um, we can just go straight for a Brave Bird here. I'm feeling really offensive today. I'm feeling like I'm playing them really offensively. Um, we go straight for the Brave Bird. They do stay in. They're going to take that, though, because they are part of Steel. Um, but it does a decent amount of damage to them, regardless. As they go for a Meteor Mash, which takes us out, unfortunately. What can you do? What can you do? Not a lot in that situation, really. So, with that in mind, um, what do we do here? Do we go Kingler? Hmm. I'm going to go Kingler. I know the... Um, Optimal switch there was Typhlosion, but I don't want to get an extreme speed to the face. Um, I'm feeling agility because I feel like they'll switch out here. They are going to withdraw Lucario. What are they going to go into? Milotic? See, I've, I've played against Milotic on Showdown, and this actually kind of works out nicely for us. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go straight for a knockoff. Um, knockoff is going to do... A decent amount of damage to the Milotic, to be fair. There we go. We go for a knockoff. It's going to do a decent amount of damage. That's about the, the amount it normally does. Um, get some life orb recoil. That's fine. They go for a dragon tail. Wasn't expecting that. And we get sent out into Regieye. So that's 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 kind of worked out nicely for us. We can just go for a Thunderbolt here. Um, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Go straight for a Thunderbolt. I don't see any reason not to. There we go. Go for a Thunderbolt real quick. Does a decent amount of damage, to be fair. We do our speed as well, which is nice. They go for a recover, though, which is unfortunate. But, I uh, know it looks like they're recovering more damage than we can... But they're recovering more than we can deal. Makes me wish I was, like, um, something else. Uh, they're probably going to go for a recover now to get back to full. 
Um, I'm going to go back into Krusty the Crab. Just because I want to get a rock slide off and then we can get a Thunderbolt off afterwards. So we'll go into Krusty the Crab real quick. Um, they actually withdrew Malotic. What are they going to go into? Electivire? Oh, that works out nicely for them. They have their own Electivire, which is always nice. So we'll go for a Razor Shell real quick, just on the off chance we live. But I don't think we do. We don't. But I, I don't have a switch in. <laughs> What's my switch in here? Nothing. I have no switch ins whatsoever to this Electivire. Um, none at all. Regice is not taking it. It says a Life Orb Electivire, as opposed to our Choice Band. Um, we go straight for a Typhlosion switch here. I think that's the play. There we go, into Typhlosion. And we just go straight for an Eruption real quick. There they go, they go for a Quick Attack, which is really bizarre. Um, never seen Quick Attack on Electivire before, I didn't even know it got it. As we go for an Eruption, that should take out the Electivire from there. Nicely done, nicely done. So, with the Electivire out of the way, that's one less thing for our... Um, what do you call it? Um, Regice to deal with. There's Milotic. So Milotic comes in. Can't really do anything to Milotic. Except from switching to Mr. Freeze. So I'm going to do exactly that. And the only thing we can really do to, miss, to this Milotic with Mr. Freeze is we can just Thunderbolt it and hope we get Paralysis and stuff like that. So they go for a Skull. That's not going to do any damage to us, really. Um, did they get the Burn? No Burn. No Burn. That's always good. We'll go for a Thunderbolt real quick and hope for the best. There we go. Go for a Thunderbolt. Does a lot of damage to it, to be fair. Did they go for Recover here? They do go for Recover here. That's frustrating. That is frustrating. It's frustrating that we're not doing quite enough damage. That's what's so frustrating. So we'll go for another Thunderbolt real quick. Eventually, they've got to stop. Eventually, they'll stop, right? They go for a Scald this turn. That was a mistake. They should have recovered there. They should have recovered there because now they are in prime Thunderbolt range. Absolutely prime Thunderbolt range. There we go. Milotic goes down. That is perfect. Absolutely perfect. So, with that in mind, what have they got left? They've got Lucario. Crap, what have they got left? I didn't take a picture of the team. So Lucario comes in. This thing's going to get a boost from Meteor Mash and take us out with an extreme speed against Typhlosion. Isn't it? Uh, let's go for a Thunderbolt anyway, just on the off chance they miss. No, they go for close combat. That's fine. Close combat's going to destroy Reggie Ice. Absolutely destroy it. With a passion. And I'm not seeing Life Orb. I'm not seeing Leftovers. Oh, no, no, it is Life Orb. Never mind. Never mind, it is Life Orb. I thought Life Orb came straight after. Doesn't matter, does it? Right, we'll go into our Typhlosion real quick. This is our last Pokemon. Our last ditch effort of getting some damage off on this thing. And hopefully we can live an extreme speed. That'd be nice. And we can get a Flamethrower off. Um, can we live an extreme speed? We can live an extreme speed. And we get Flamethrower off, which is really unfortunate because, well, Lucario goes down. So we don't get to, we don't get to experience the glory of taking out the Lucario. And in comes Dragonite, so this was like a lose-lose situation because we couldn't do anything against the Dragonite with Typhlosion, realistically. But we'll go for the Flamethrower anyway, just on the off chance we can get a burn. That'd be nice. No, they go for the Extreme Speed. Take us out, and that is going to be the game. So GG, King Dean. That was a pretty fun game. Um, it's a shame I didn't take a picture of the team. It happens. Rookie mistakes. If BDSP wasn't so annoying and didn't let you see your opponent's team during the battle like Sword and Shield does, then, you know, wouldn't have that issue. But anyway, thank you for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.